Hello and welcome to Fallout 4. Um, I've been waiting for this game for a long, long time. I've been waiting for this game for eight months, or at least since February, before I took my bloody GCSE exam, so let's get right in. Um, playing on Ultra with 60 frames per second on 8, 1080p. Woo! Better than my mate Josh, who you all know as Overbag, or you probably know him as Josh too, has got because he's only got uh, 30 FPS on low, so ha 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 to him. I can say that because you won't watch this video, I know you won't. This is a long ass loading screen though. But I might be speaking too soon, I might drop. Anyway, war never changes. his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. Entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war. War never changes. Okay then. So, once again, mankind. Ooh, it's us. Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Ooh, righty then. Okay, I'm gonna quickly sort out some uh my recording problems, and I will be back.
Wait, what's my name? Okay. I didn't get a name option. Huh. Hey, hon. I'm hurrying up. Um, just went to audio. Um, do that. Okay. Don't worry. Is she? Nah, let's leave it at that. Then. Okay. Right. Yep, typical Bethesda sit down animation. Check. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. No need to get dressed twice. War never changes. <laughs> Got that right. Okay, so he was an army man. Um, got a kid, but I knew that from the trader anyway. Called Sean, apparently. I hope we can change some of these names. Should get this sign next time we're at the park. Not that I've got anything against people named Sean. I just want to, you know, make my own. Can't wait to teach him to ride this. He'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. Huh. How'd you get on the floor, Mr. Bear? <laughs> to think. The car from Fallout 3. Oh, there's the Your Special book. We'll read that in just a mail. Last radius and the ball. These are all the items from Fallout 3, right? I'm pretty sure they are. Anyway, let's actually open that. Hansworth, Mr. Hansworth. Woo. Insta mash, fancy lad snack cakes, Blamco mac and cheese. Expires in never. Okay, so you can preserve food. You have a feeling I still need to up the audio. Thanks, Codsworth. Of course, sir. His name shouldn't be Codsworth, it should be Mr. Hand or something like that. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Sugar Bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. Looks like the milk got delivered. New Coca Cola. Ice cold. Saddle up Salisbury Steak. Great oh, like the stick. I oh, awesome. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Good old Rebels, but uh, I'm so proud of her. Good old USA. Good old Britain. Now, who left those here? Can you get the door? Whenever I answer, he just asks for you over and over. Who's this? Where's the door? Where's the 
just the door. Oh, it's like Ray Bolts. You have to build it. Come on, just answer the door and Why don't go oh, the door's right there? Okay. Wait, no, it's not. Where's the door? Wife! Oh, there's the door. Good morning! Voltec calling! Voltec? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Voltec is the foremost builder of state of the art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. I'm here now. So you are. So you are. <laughs> now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Too late. I'm a, a, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Mine is your robot. It better be. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdouts. Oh, here's some names. Unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Everyone dies. <laughs> I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <the story. laughs> now, let's see. Here we go. Right. So, name. Because this game says your name, I'm going to put Haru. No, Harry. Uh, do we want to put a second name? Yeah, go on. So, there we go. Strength, oh, wait, okay, so we don't start with five in each one. So, charisma. Oh, okay, right, charisma. I want that at eight. Intelligence, I want that at six. Strength, I want that at uh, six. Agility to overall things. Reflexes. Actually, do I need that? Oh, experience point turned. Yeah, we'll keep it at six. Endurance. Endure overall fitness. Okay. Let's just put five into that. And perception. We're not very. Perception. Um. Oh, actually, yeah, we don't really need that much strength. Let's put some in. Uh, perception, even. And I think that's us. So we're not lucky. We're not very agile. But we're intelligent, charismatic. Uh, we've got quite a bit of endurance. We're not too perceptive. And we're borderline strength. So, accept. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> we can't change your name. I have my money. Oh. Hunt? Well, look at you. Not a girl like me ever gets there. Right <laughs> he said <says> my name! <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. 
Okay, this is like really quiet. I don't know if you've noticed that too, but I mean, bloody hell. For me, it's quiet as hell. If you can't hear me after this, I am sorry. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. It's trying to get me attached to these two characters and then they die. Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, Mum, you should come and see this. Codsworth? End of the world. See you, kid. Oh, 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 before I forget. In case you some sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with the phone. Can I talk to you about the birds and bees if you survive? Oh no, there you go. Right. We do have we do have coming in. That's uh um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My god. Thank God we signed that thing before, we huh? The vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 oh, immediately. Let's go to the Vault 111 the other way. Um, hey there. Oh, there we go. Hi. Hey. Hi. Oh shit, there's fucking there's a waypoint, okay. Shit. Residents of Sanctuary Hills. If you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Okay, there we go. Where's the wife? Where's the wife? You're in the ball program. Head to the game. That's absurd. I am on the list. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't stop me. Excuse me. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Get to the ball. You two, follow me. Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside the gate? Everything gonna get killed now, a lot. Moving. Sir, we need to send you down to the vault. Step on the platform. Here we go. Step on the platform in the center. Almost there. We're gonna You're be our roommates. Okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Mushroom cloud. Hold on. So they're gonna kill themselves, really? I mean, it's kind of nice that they do that, but why would you do that? I'm just going to turn the volume down again, just a tiny bit. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. 
We left a minute later. No, no, we don't. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Are we the only family? Oh no. Fuck, only family with kids, though. Hey there. Oh, oh my God. Hey. What? What's going we on? Just need a minute. We'll get hey. everyone through this as quickly as possible. Just get us this way. Hey, hon. We made it. Excuse me. Up the stairs. Hey there. Head inside. Just up the stairs there. You're not very bloody chatty, are you? Yeah, look, we're the only one with a kid. Excuse me. Hello there. Once we seal the vault, we'll all be getting to know each other a lot more, I'm sure. Female and male. Good. Over there. Take a seat. Just step over to the table. One vault seat. Now just head down the hall. Each of you take one of these. Your brand new vault suits. It's down uh, the hallway right thanks. there. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. See? This is well, you mean a way to air everyone else is going? Oh, oh well done. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. Well, the overseer seems to be a bit less of a dick than I'm used to. Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through. Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. I don't like you. I don't fucking like you. Look at your eyes, you bastard. Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. You seem to posh. Well, it's cryo sleeps. And put your vault suit on. Oh, okay. So activate that. No, activate this. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you. Before we head deeper in the hall, just relax. Ah, put my feet up. Resident secure. Occupant vitals. So that baby explodes in her face. Because of the pressure. Yeah, oh, this is cryo sleep. Someone's gonna die from this. Oh, yep. Yeah. I think I just saw her die. My wife is dead. This is so gross, like. Things are suspended, which means bad stuff's happened. Okay, we still can't see. This is the one. Here. Ooh. Open it. 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 Let him go, let him go, let him go. <gasps> Shit. Oh, fuck me. Is this the opposite of Fallout 3? <laughs> There's no like talking yet. 
I didn't get to chat anyone up. God damn it. Yep. Come on. There has to be a release. Oh, all right. Come on, come on, come on. Oh god. Oh shit, they're all dead? God. Why would Voltaire do this? Voltaire didn't, bandits probably have messed with it. Let's have a look. For any of the loot and goodies. Wait, hang on. What about my pit boy? Do I even get a chance to put it on? No. Okay. Oh yeah, I haven't got a pit boy yet. What do I put away in my fist? Inaccessible. Such a rad roach. 